Yo, what's going on out there guys? My name is Roll Easy and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a dope modded outfits tutorial. We finally have a save method for the director mode glitch. Now, these aren't just regular modded outfits. These are the kind of modded outfits you can only get on modded accounts. You got logos that are on top of most of the clothing. You got logos on joggers. You got blue, white, all different color joggers that you can possibly get. There are certain ways and certain outfits that you can save and can't save. We'll get into all of that in this video. It's not for the faint of heart. This glitch will consume much of your time and you have to really want these outfits to go get them all right so if you don't have patience this glitch might not it might not be for you it's it's just the truth all right it will take time it's easy in theory but you know it's it's up to you guys i'm gonna leave it to you all right so founders of this glitch are shift team for finding the original director mode method we're using and dc clout and hollow for the save method that we're going to be using as well so all those guys links will be down in the description uh, if i messed up your name i apologize but we're going to get started the requirements you need as you see right here in story mode i'm trevor i'm eating two bird peyotes in story mode okay you want two bird peyotes or two dog peyotes i can confirm that the bird peyotes do work it's kind of like the method that we were using for the god mode glitch uh you know about a week back or so so uh, once you've collected two peyotes, you want to save your game. So you see right now, I've unlocked the hen right there in director mode. At this moment, I'm going to another location. This is the Mount Chiliad location, and I'm actually going to be collecting the other bird peyote. All right, so I'll try to leave a link down in the description on, you know, bird peyote locations and everything, but these are the two that I used. All right, I showed you both locations, so if you want to just copy that, you can go ahead. I can confirm that it works with these two peyotes. So just eat the peyotes, and then once you've spawned, in as you know in the hallucination just hold right d-pad and you'll get out of the hallucination and you see I've unlocked two peyotes they're both birds go ahead and make a game save through your phone in story mode and you've done the story mode part of the preparation okay now this is how you need to prepare your online character your online character needs to be at least rank 80 that's very important all right rank 80 for your online character or above uh, so 80 or above now Apart from the two bird peyotes, your online character needs to be wearing simple clothing like you see me wearing right here. That means non-glitched, no telescope hat glitches, you know, no, nothing like that, no glitched gloves, no glitched shirts, nothing. Simple outfits, okay? And the most important thing, you want them to be wearing a forward cap with a rebreather on. That's very important. And I didn't show it right here, but another important thing is you need to set their spawn location to random very very important okay so if you want to be sure that your character is good i recommend throwing on some random pants some random shoes and put on a crew t-shirt but the most essential part is to have a forward cap with a rebreather on like you see me wearing right there and don't forget to set your spawn location to random all right now you can go ahead and leave online and go into story mode okay once we're in story mode you can go ahead and open up the interaction menu and head into director mode just launch it Okay, so once we've launched director mode, you should spawn in as your SP character in the trailer, all right? This is the casting trailer right here. So what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and you want to put two, you want to put the bird and you want to put your online character on the short list. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, so what we're going to do right here, we're going to first, I recommend putting your online character at the short list first. I think I did it reverse. I ended up putting the animal on the short list. But uh, yeah, so go ahead and go to your online character right here. You could press triangle or Y to go to the short list. And you know, that'll just put them on the short list. You'll see what I mean here in a second. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to the animals now. Go to, well, go to actors first and then animals. Now you should see the two, bird, uh, the two birds that you unlocked in story mode. Hit triangle or Y on the very first one to send that one to the short list. Okay, like I said, I did a reverse. I did the bird first and then the online character. That's all good. It'll work either way, really. But I recommend just putting your online character to the short list and then send the bird to the short list after. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to see right here, I'm going to go to the short list actors and you're going to see that I have the bird and the online character. All right, my GTA Online 1 character. This is the one that I want the modded outfits on. Okay, so once we're at this point, what you need to do now is hover over your online character and hit up or down, doesn't really matter. You can hit down and X at the same time or up and X at the same time. That'd be up and A or down and A on Xbox, okay? 
If done correctly, what should happen is your online character will start walking out. Okay, now you could mess this up, but it's all, it's all good if you do mess it up. You just gotta, you know, retry it again. You know, there's no crazy thing to do about this. So right now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna press up and X at the same time or up and A on Xbox. And like I said, you can go down or up. Doesn't matter, it scrolls both ways. Okay, so I'm in director mode as my online character. Go ahead and hold down on the D-pad, move the right stick down and go back to the trailer. All right, nice and easy. So. If done correctly, what you should see now is, you should see yourself hovering over the bird, but you're looking at your online character, okay? If you've done that, uh, you know, if you did the last part correctly, this is what you should be seeing. So go ahead and select A or X on your bird. Now the bird is in director mode. We're gonna do the same thing, hold down on the D-pad, uh, you know, put the right stick down, and then go ahead and head back to the casting trailer. Once you've done that, you should be looking at the bird right here on the bale of hay. Go ahead and back out of that part of the menu, and then now you want to go to Actors, then go to Animals, and then this is when, when we're going to be duplicating the animals, okay? So, select Animals, and just scroll up and down at a moderate pace, I would say. I'd say don't rush this. Some people can rush this, you know, and say it still works. I've had better luck with this part if I just kind of took my time, you know, at the, this is the pace I was going. I'm going to fast forward it here, but that's the pace that I was pretty much going for. Did it? I think I it finished it in about in a minute and a half or so. Now, what you want to do is keep duplicating the animals until they're not able to duplicate anymore, okay? Once they've stopped duplicating, go ahead and go to the shortlist actors, all right? Go to shortlist actors, scroll down, and then you should be at your online character. If done correctly, your online character will duplicate. If they haven't duped yet, just keep going up and down until they duplicate, okay? So, at this moment, I have them duplicated and I'm still going up and down because now the next thing that I need to do is actually spawn my duped character on top of the bale of hay. And you're gonna see it happen here. So, I'm just gonna continue doing this over and over again until he spawns up there just like that, all right? So, he's all glitched out, spawned up there. Back out of this part of the menu and then you wanna go over to Actors. Once you're at Actors, you can go ahead and select, select whatever category you want and this is where we're going to be seeing all the modded outfits. So I'm just going to select Beach Bums here for the video and you can see right there the glitched guy, the glitched character is there but sometimes this will happen and I'm glad it did because I'm going to show you the fix for this. So there's no modded outfits right now. All you got to do if this happens to you is go back to Shortlist Actors. Okay, so I'm going to select Shortlist Actors right here. I'm going to go back to the bird or the online character, whichever one you have listed first. And I'm going to do the same thing, scroll up and down. So look, he's duplicated again. I'm just going to once again scroll up and down. And then he is there again on top of the bale of hay. Now we can try that, that part again. Go to Actors. Select the category you want. Once we're here, start pressing start pressing square or X on on Xbox, and there you go. You now are scrolling through a you know a variety of modded outfits. Now, here's the thing with these modded outfits, guys. You can select anyone you want. There's a bunch of different things. You got joggers you can pick from. One of the most important things to keep in mind is the only outfits that will transfer are ones with Christmas masks or Halloween masks, things that you know aren't online. Those are the only ones that will transfer. So you're looking for hats, masks, things like that. And like you saw that one right there, that's a Christmas mask. That outfit is able to transfer. But those are the only ones that you can select. So if you're looking for a certain color joggers, you need to find those joggers, but they need to have a Christmas mask or something like that. Okay, those are the outfits that will be able to transfer. So just for the video purposes, I found this this outfit right here, some checkerboard pants. There's uh, The top is actually glitched with a bunch of logos and stuff, and there's logos all over it. I'm going to go ahead and back out of that part of the menu, go to online character, and select my first online character, the one that I'm going to go ahead and make the outfit for. So now we're in director mode. Once we're in director mode, go ahead and hold down on the D-pad and select your story mode character. We're going to end up on a black screen, okay? PlayStation. Go ahead and just start up a recent activity, hit start GT Online and deny the alert. Xbox, what you guys need to do is join a friend in a different targeting mode, accept the first alert and decline the second alert and you're going to be taken off this black screen. Now we actually are in story mode. So get on top of a building if you have to, activate super jump before, you know, you can do stuff like that and jump on top of the building, uh, off the building. This is the save method right here. 
So hold the pause button right now, and then I'm gonna let go of it right before I hit the ground, just like that. Go to the online tab and head over to creator, okay? So this is the part that can be inconsistent and that you could fail at. You could have spent so much time finding a really cool outfit and it might not save. That's what I'm saying that, you know, you're gonna put a lot of time into this and it might be for nothing, but it could be for a really dope outfit. It's up to you, it's like roulette, all right? So if done correctly, you should spawn online in a session with your modded outfit. Now check it out, you see how I'm not wearing the mask? What I think is that the game detects that there is a mask that you can't normally get and it takes it off. That's why we can only transfer these online. It doesn't get rid of your whole modded outfit, but it gets rid of that Christmas mask, which lets you bring everything else on the outfit online, okay? So once you've spawned online, go ahead and save this outfit. I recommend saving it a few times because I, I like to, you know, be on the side of caution. You spent that much time, you know, trying to make this outfit and finding it. You know, you obviously want it, so make sure you save it. I even saved it to two slots there just in case. But do whatever you want to do to save it. What I recommend is, yeah, saving it a few times. Even, you know, take the easy way out now. And uh, I'd say stay in that session and get a few orange save icons, you know, before you even leave that session. Make sure that it really will stick. I stayed in these sessions for like five or 10 minutes before I even decided to leave because I wanted to make sure these outfits stuck. Look at this, I'm even gonna do the telescope glitch and I'm actually gonna glitch on a mask, you know, over to the outfit itself. So I'm gonna glitch this on. I know you guys know the telescope glitch, but I've glitched this mask on and I've actually created, you know, it looks kind of crazy, man. Some of these outfits are insane. I'm not saying this one looks amazing, but you know, some of these outfits are freaking crazy looking. So, you know, there you go. I've saved the outfit. I'm just gonna wait for a few orange save icons and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to creator. So moment of truth, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and go online and head over to creator and then I'm gonna just jump in a new invite only session. You could just hit find new session. That's all up to you. This is just the way I like to do it. It's a bit quicker. So I'm gonna spawn in creator right here. Go to, no, go to a new invite only session. Once I spawn in, this is the moment of truth to see if the outfit did stick. If you've done everything I've said, the outfit should stick, okay? So there we go, the outfit is still there. I'm going to my style and there are both slots that I saved it in are still there, all right? So that's pretty much how it all goes, guys. It can be random, it can be, it can be inconsistent. So it's, it's all up to you. I mean, this is another outfit that I got to save. So you see the mask? I got a cool glitched outfit. I got the mask that's a Christmas mask on. And I was like, you know what? Let me try to save this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my online character, go into director mode, and then, you know, once I'm in director mode and I'm on a building I like, go ahead and go to story mode. You're gonna exit director mode. You're gonna hit this black screen. Recent activity and deny the alert for PlayStation, Xbox, join a friend in a different targeting mode, accept the first alert, decline the second. Okay, now go ahead and jump off the building, hold the pause button, and let go right before you hit the ground, all right? I've realized that's a really good spot. If you look at both of my save methods in the video, or both of my saves in the video that I got, they were kind of around the same area, all right? You don't have to be almost touching the ground, but it's got to be, you got to be like a few feet off the ground, I feel like. And when you spawn online, check it out. I spawned online with that modded outfit and the mask was removed, that Christmas mask. And I think that is what's allowing the game to actually let you keep the rest of the outfit. Okay? So it's an ungrateful glitch. It doesn't care how much time you put into it, but it's all up to you. It's all subjective. If you really like that outfit, then you'll work hard to get it. Okay? But we finally have a save method. People wanted this last time and we've brought it to you guys. All right? So that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys learned something from this video and enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out everybody and have a great day.